The Shabbat this weekend is called Shabbat Parashat Zachor, because in addition to reading Parashat Vayikra, we also read Zachor et Asher Asalecha Amalek. Remember that which Amalek did to you when you were tired, when you came out of Egypt, you were weak, and he came and tried to attack you and cause you trouble and pain. And we always read this parasha before Purim, because Haman, who tried to annihilate the Jewish people, he was a descendant of Amalek. Now, if you look at the text that we read, Zachor et Asher Asalecha Amalek, there's something very special and unique because the Torah refers to us in the singular term. Et asher asalecha, not lachem, but rather lecha, to you as an individual. And that's puzzling because Amaleki attacked the entire Am Israel. He didn't just attack one individual. We were a nation, we were a people. So why does the Torah use the word to you as if it's just one person? And I was explain when Amalek came to attack us, the Jewish people had such an amazing unity. They came together to such an extent that the Torah refers to us as one. The whole of Am Yisrael was united like one person. And indeed, this is a concept, a trend, a beautiful thing that Am Yisrael does every time we're attacked by our nations all throughout history. And indeed, Esther told Mordechai on the story of Purim that the way to be shielded from Haman's decree and to have protection, to be saved, is by us who coming together. She said, Lech kenos kol ayudim. Gather all the Jewish people, pray and fast. But it was the gathering, the unity, that was what brought salvation. And this indeed we've seen throughout history till our times. 7th of October, we saw that right after that attack, everyone came together in such an amazing way. Sephardim, Ashkenazim, religious and not, Jews from the diaspora, Jews from Israel. There was such a sense of unity to the extent that today we saw the peak of it, where Am Israel together joined in saying Shema Israel together. Hundreds of thousands of Jews from all over the globe. What a beautiful thing to see. But we must remember something beautiful even deeper. Because Amalek, when he tried to attack the Jewish people, he was unsuccessful. So unlike the 7th of October, unfortunately, they had some element of success. By Amalek, there was zero success. And why? Because the unity didn't come after the attack. The unity of Am Yisrael was there before the attack. The Torah tells us that when they were standing at the footsteps of Mount Sinai, he uses the words Vayichan Sham Israel Kenegedar. They encamped. It doesn't say Vayachanu in the plural, it says Vayichan in the singular. Because they were like one Rashi says, Keishachad, Belevachad, one heart, one, one, one person, one people. And that's why Malik was unsuccessful. And therefore, when we read Zachor et Asher Salacha Malik, it's not only to remember what our enemies always wanted to do and tried to do, but to remember the state of mind. Am Israel was united as one. Asher HaSalechat to you as an individual. Remember that. And that's what shielded you and protected you from even being successful to begin with. And therefore, we shouldn't only come together after the fact, after we've been attacked, but remember that what us coming together, being as one, is also prevents any future attacks. And for us in Am Israel, living today in Israel, we need to hear this more than ever before. We have enemies in and enemies out. We must know that it's our unity that shields us and protects us. And perhaps by divine providence, that's why this parasha is also Vayikra. Vayikra is when we begin reading about the sacrifices. And the letter Aleph in the word Vayikra is small. And rabbis tell us why. Because when Hashem calls us to make a sacrifice, it's a very subtle, quiet call. It's a request which is going in the undercurrent. It's very low, it's hidden. And Hashem really perhaps is telling us today too, in an undertone, Vayikra, Hashem is calling to us, make a sacrifice. It's not the sacrifice of the, taking the animal on the altar, but make a sacrifice between you and your fellow. See his perspective, put your, your perspective a little bit aside so that there can be unity, because that's the only way that we can have unity is when we make a sacrifice. So Vayikra and Zachor together is a call to us today. Remember, don't only remember what Amalek did, remember what is needed for your success, for your protection. And Bezrat Hashem, through unity, not only are we protected, but also we merit the coming of Mashiach Tzidkeinu speedily in our days. Amen. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom.